With World Tier 5 releasing yesterday, I got so many questions during my stream how to reach the gear score 500 in the fastest way. So in this video, I will give you my tips on how to reach gear score 500 yeah, in the fastest and easiest way. So I assume that you are at least gear score 450. If not, don't worry, you can check my video how to reach 450 before. Link will be in the pinned comment. So to increase our gear score the fastest, we need to just have as high as possible total gear score in our backpack. So to inflate that fast, we're gonna go to the vendors and buy some higher gear score items. So the best vendors in my experience are the clan vendor and the Cassie hidden vendor. So we're gonna start with Cassie vendor. To get her location, you need to first talk to the snitch. You can find him close to the 1040 safe house. So fast travel there and just keep running this path until you get to him. Talk to him and grab the bounty. Then open the map and you will see the location of the secret vendor Cassie. So just get to that location and check her vendor out. So she is selling some weapons that are already 490 plus. So that will increase our gear score quite a lot. So after you bought the items you needed there, just go to the clan vendor in the base of operation. Depending on your clan level and such, items may not be the same as me. But for me there was so many great items, such as this M1A, sausage and gloves and so on. So after you picked up the items you need there, depending on what you need, you could travel to all settlements and dark zone vendors. For me personally, I didn't need anything from them. So when you're done with buying upgraded gear, I would go to the recalibration station and just recal high stats on the gear to up the gear score even further. So when all that is done, it's just time to farm. A great way if you just want to loot and don't really shoot is to go to the underground slash sewers and do those runs. I prefer this one in the bottom left, but there's a few more that's great as well, so just uh, check them out yourself. Other than that, you can of course do the invaded missions that you have to do later, but if you don't want to do them yet because they do give you gear sets, I would recommend to do Occupy Dark Zone. But any farm method of your choice will do. As long as you make sure that you keep the highest gear score piece per gear type, so you keep advancing in the gear score. I always equip everything so it shows my highest gear score, then I equip my normal gear back. If you are playing in a group, just share the gear with each other that you don't need so you guys can advance faster together. But that's basically it. I hope you guys found these tips useful and if you are interested in more guides or Division 2 videos in general, make sure to hit that subscribe button. See you in the next one.